This is a MacBook Pro 2011 running an i5 processor. I just switched the hard drive from standard serial ATA to SATA. And so it takes a while for it to boot up. Let me shut this down again. And so again, I upgraded the hard drive to a SSD hard drive, so this should boot in a few seconds. But, so I just reinstalled the OS to Lion or Maverick, it doesn't really matter, but you can see how long it takes to boot up. So the solution is to go into Settings, Startup, and make sure it's selected to um, the SSD hard drive. By default, it might be looking for the USB flash drive or the a USB CD drive that it was installed from. You can see over there it says no good. And so it's waiting, it's waiting, finally it boots up. So it took a good 40 seconds for it to finally boot up. So as I said, go into settings, or I mean system preferences, I'm sorry about that. Go into system preferences, and then go into startup disk, and as you can see right now, nothing is selected, so I want to choose this, which is Maverick OS. Let me go in a little closer so you can see. So again, you want to go into System Preferences and select Startup over here. I might as well just take this out and show you. Select Startup at the bottom. And make sure the hard, your hard drive selected, your SSD hard drive selected. Just click restart. Confirm. And now when it reboots, it shouldn't take that long. So one, two, three, four, six, seven. As you can see, it boots up in seven seconds. Let's try this again with the cold reboot. Let's shut down. So if you're upgrading your SSD, just remember to go into system preferences. Rebooting right now. Go to startup and then make sure to select your SSD hard drive and restart. Similarly take 10-15 seconds for it to boot up with the, your upgraded SSD so there you go faster boot simple solution to a simple problem